Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. How do you clip a guinea pig's black nails? I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and a lot of people come in for our free health checks and they are terrified of clipping their guinea pig who has black nails. They are afraid that they're going to clip too far. They're uh, just worried that they're gonna hurt them. And now I've been volunteering there a long time and I can tell you that it's not as hard as it seems. And I hope that after you watch this video, you'll have a little bit more confidence and you can do it yourself. So before we get started, if you like guinea pig videos and you're interested in care tips or rescue missions or just all things guinea pig related, hit the subscribe and hit that bell notification and then you'll receive a message when I upload new content. So this is Popeye and he's one of my fosters and he has all black nails, every single one of them. And I noticed that they're getting a little bit long. So I thought, why not take this opportunity to clip his nails and show you guys how it's done. All the supplies you're gonna need are right here. And in fact, I have some things that you might not even need. I just like a regular nail clippers, okay? I've got two different kinds. And then this is the little pet kind. Sometimes these are easier. If you've got a nail that's really thick or really overgrown and it doesn't fit in here. But for the most part, your regular old nail clippers are gonna do just fine. And that's what we're gonna use. You should be concerned. You don't wanna clip their nails too short. And when you can't see the quick, that is always a worry. That's always a concern. But I don't want you guys to be too upset about it. And it's better that you try than just to let them keep growing. So what is this? This is styptic powder, or pronounced styptic powder. Um, and what it does is it clots any uh, bleeding that might happen if you clip their nails too short. Now, generally speaking, unless you accidentally cut it off right at the stump or cut their finger off, even if it bleeds, it doesn't tend to hurt them that much. So if you just nip the, a little tiny bit of the quick and, and the nails bleed, you know, it's not gonna hurt them too much. And so what you do is you go in here and you just dip a little in and then dab it on the nail that, that's bleeding. So I'll preload this just in case. And they actually sell a version of this with a pain reliever, but as I mentioned, it doesn't hurt them that bad. So this is great and it's really inexpensive. Uh, I believe it's under $10 for this whole thing, which should last years and years. I've, I've, I'll put a link in the description for it, and it's also on my website, scottysanimals.com. So before the sun behind me completely sets, <laughs> and it's just total darkness, let's get this going. Oh, one other thing that I want to mention is the more you clip their nails, the more the nails, the, the quick will recede. And if, and if you're not sure what I mean by the quick, the quick is the pink nerve part that you see inside the nails. And it's also what we have, it's the part of our pink fingers that's connected to the nails. And if you've ever noticed somebody who bites their nails or chews on their fingers, bites their nails a lot, their fingernails themselves have gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. And the, the nubs of the, their fingers are bigger and bigger, you'll notice. Uh, and that's because every time they continue to chew, they're forcing that quick to be receding. And that's the same thing with guinea pigs. The more frequently you clip their nails, and the more, the better you keep them, the more the quick will recede and the less they will accidentally bleed when you're clipping. We recommend every two months or every eight weeks for nail clipping. So I'm gonna start some of these nails and then I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can get a good close up. And uh, for this intro, I was sitting on a pillow, but I'm gonna take that away because this is the couch behind me. What's that? You're missing, it's this. Because sometimes a, a table that's higher up will actually make it easier for you to clip. And this, this, uh, these veggies here are actually, they're not just uh, a treat, but they're to try to distract Popeye here while I'm clipping his nails. So here we go. And also, if maybe standing up and hunching over like this is easier, uh, 
Now, if you want to see an expert, Saskia at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, she's probably the best nail clipper around. And she's fast, she's quick, she's really good at it. And because she does so many pigs all the time. So after you're done this video, head on over to the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and check out their nail clipping playlist. I'll put it at the end. Okay, so I just, boop. And I like to do a little test bite before I push really hard to make sure that it's not a problem. We're doing good. So, after, and maybe I can come back to one that I've already clipped and get a little closer. So I do a little tap, a little squeeze, 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 and if he doesn't cry out, then I keep on going. You're being very good, Popeye. Okay, so now let's do this other one. Here, you want a bite of this? Or do you want to keep working on this? Do I keep working on this? You're being so good. We'll do it quickly. Okay, so these are the ones I like. And I'm just going to come in with a little test. And then I squeeze it. Whoop, you see that? On my test, he freaked out. That's because I was a little too close. So one way to think about it is where the nail starts to curve, that's where the quick is. So you can go just a little past that. So again, and you can also see where they start to thin out a little bit. My little test bite hurt him a little, so I go a little bit longer and just be confident. And remember, if, if, you, if you cut him, you just use the styptic powder, you take a little piece and you just go like that. Now it's not bleeding, but you would just do that if it was. Good boy, Popeye. So let's do the back feet. So here I'm sort of holding him like this. And then remember the back only has three. So eh, eh, eh. here, you wanna take a break? If you got somebody that can be the celery holder or the carrot holder, then that helps. But we're just gonna go real fast. Boom. And see what I'm doing? A little test. A little squeeze. And see, now I'm trying to get closer and closer. And if it pinches him, then that's as far as I'll go. See, he sort of didn't like that, so that's... I'll just go a little bit more, but not as far as. There you go. Last one on this side. Thank you, Popeye. Hold on. Hold on. Good. Okay, we just have one more side. One more side. Okay, this is the last paw. We'll test squeeze. Move the hair out of the way a little. I think I can go a little shorter even. There we go. Just two more. Just two two more toes. He's got long hair back here on his toes, which make it a little trickier to, to see. He squirmed a little on that one, so we'll see if it ends up bleeding. I can get a little bit closer. And that's the last one. Oh, you see this first one is bleeding a teeny tiny bit. Can you see that? He didn't even cry with that one. Okay, so we just take a little of the styptic powder, put it right there like that, and that's it. And that's all you would need to do. Good job. So that's it. It wasn't really difficult. Um, you just want to be careful. That's why I've got my reading glasses on because I want to be able to see the best I can. Good job, Popeye. Here, finish your, finish your celery. Good job. So remember, you just need regular clippers. It's great to have this styptic, styptic powder. Um, having an amazing sunset in the background always helps. Do you have a favorite nail clipper brand? These are just regular dollar store clippers, 
but at the guinea pig rescue we use green bells and they look pretty much like these but their handle is a little bit more ergonomic but when you clip the nails it's like clipping through butter it's amazing it just feels really smooth and and that gives you the confidence to cut precisely and when you're cutting as many nails as they are at the guinea pig rescue you can imagine that you want to have the best clippers i'll try to find the best link i can and i'll put that also in the description so thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please hit that like button it really helps the channel and if you want more videos about guinea pig care or fun videos or even behind the scenes at the guinea pig rescue hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you'll know when i upload a new video all right thanks for watching see you next time you did great